This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, now I do hope you've watched the previous lecture because in the previous lecture I showed you how um, we use how learning curves work, the learning rate using both uh, the doubling rule and the formula. But the question remains as to how do we know what the learning rate is? You know, clearly most questions in the exam, you are told the learning rate, it's 80%, it's 75%, it's 90%, you just use it. Again, maybe it's doubling, maybe it's the formula. But in real life, you know, I've got a factory making desks. How on earth do I know what the learning rate is? Well, the way you'll find out, think about it, is experiment. Let's make one desk. Maybe that takes 20 hours, the first desk. Get them to make a second desk. And of course, if they make a second desk, we'd expect them to be faster. Maybe the second desk only takes them 15 hours. And then effectively work backwards and work out what the learning rate is. Now, I'm going to set you a little puzzle. It's something that very often appears in the exam, in section A or B, is a two-mark question, but one that most people get wrong. It's easy, but most people get it wrong. So I'm going to give you a puzzle, and this time, I know in other places I say, pause the lecture, have a go yourself, and then check. Well, this time, I am going to pause, and I'm really, you know, make sure you've got a calculator. Uh, I want you to have a go at this and see if you get the right answer. As I say, most people don't. Suppose I make desks, or I'm starting to make desks, and we make one, and so the first desk, the first unit, takes, let's say, 80 hours. I then get them to make a second one, and of course you expect them to be faster. The second unit, let's say, takes them ooh, 55 hours. What I want you to do is will you estimate to the nearest percent what the learning rate is. Is it 70%? Is it 60%? Is it 90%? And as I say, I am going to keep quiet for 30 seconds. Please have a go, see if you can get the right answer. All right, I wasn't timing, so I don't know whether I'll give you 30 seconds or not. You should have had time to do it if you've got a calculator. Um, if you got six, I said to the nearest percent, so 69%, then you're wrong. And make sure you see why, because I say it is quite common uh, to be asked in the exam and to throw away two marks, which essentially is pretty straightforward, is such a shame. Remember how the learning rule works. The average time for one unit well, one unit takes 80 hours, the average time is 80. If we double up and make two units then the average time per unit will be 80 times the learning rate. Well, what is the average time per unit if we make two? The first took 80, the second took 55. Well, the average time to make both of them took 
what, 135 hours, divide by two for the average, the average time per unit is 67.5 hours. Let me check that I'm not doing anything stupid. 80 plus 55 divided by two. Yeah, that's the average time per unit. And so what is the learning rate? R, the learning rate, 67.5 over 80 is uh, 0.84375, 84.375%, or I said to the news percent, 84%. If you've got 84%, great. Now, when this is asked, you will only be expected to get it using the doubling rule. You will never, ever be expected to use the formula backwards. It'll only ever be doubling. So, you know, I could have made it a bit more fun and said, oh, uh, the time for the first is uh, 100 hours. Uh, the time for the um, well, I could give you up to four, and of course that's doubling twice. So you'd work out the average time for the first is 100. The average time, if there were four, uh, is maybe. Uh, 50 per unit but because you're doubling twice that would give us two that would give us four you'd be multiplying by r twice r squared so r squared would be 50 over 100 and then you take the square root so think about that because i say it is quite popular uh, and it's such a shame um, when people get it wrong when, uh, you know, usually it's that first one. When it's still very quick for two marks, it's such a shame to get the wrong answer. And of course, the choices of answers, one of the choices will be 55 over 80, which is wrong, but the fact that choice exists uh, makes you feel it's okay.